Over the next five days, I'm taking a brand new dropshipping store from zero to as far as I can go. I'm going to show you everything from finding the winning product, building the Shopify store, editing the ads, how to run the ads, and everything else in between. This video will be a step-by-step -step blueprint that you can steal to start making money online with TikTok dropshipping today. So how much money will I make over these next five days? Well, you will have to watch to find out. So to get started, I have a product Product already picked out for today's challenge, but we will be building the store and launching the ads live. And the product we're gonna be selling are these personalized thongs. And this product kicks ass for so many reasons. So first, taboo products always crush on TikTok. And this product immediately pops out and piques your interest. Secondly, this product has an infinite amount of content available. There are probably a few hundred unique videos that you can use for your ads. And to finish it with point three, we sold this product back in December and made $1,000 profit in 72 hours. And there's also been countless people in the Discord who have had profitable sales with this product as well. So it is as simple as that. So here is a naked version of our Shopify store. And on the screen, let me show you what my vision is once we are done customizing our personalized thongs. So we are going to bring this vision into a reality and I will show you how to do that step by step. Real quick, to get this product imported, we installed the AutoDS app and simply copy pasted the AliExpress link just like that, the product's imported. However, this is looking really bad. We still need to pimp out the theme. We need to pimp out the product page. We still need to think of a branded name. There's a lot of work to do, but again, the vision is still clear. This is what we are going to bring into a reality, and it's only gonna take us 20 to 30 minutes. That's the best part. So let's come to products on our Shopify store and come to the personalized thong. And we're just gonna rename this to the personalized thong. I'm gonna keep it straightforward. We can can clear out this description so it's empty and I'm actually going to remove all of these photos and we will be importing some fresh photos I'll show you how to go about finding those pretty easily so let's delete all those and then for the variants if you guys have been subscribed to my channel you would know I like to use four to seven variants on my product pages so we'll go with black we'll go red we'll go purple sky blue white and then I'll remove yellow and I'll also remove fuchsia as well so we have five variants right now. That looks good. We'll save that. And there's still a ton more photos here as well. So we'll just take care of those real quick. Now there's a lot of this shit we got to get done. So we're going to go quick. First, we need to rename the purple, sky blue, and then white. You got to just have them all the same punctuality. Now for size, we're only going to sell the six to 10 letters. I'm not going to give them the option. That'll be way too confusing. So the way you can do that is delete all the variants except the one you need. We're going to click save. And now that those are all gone, we're going to delete this box as well. So that way, these colors right here are all going to be that six to 10 letter mark. So we'll select all of our variants and come to the bulk editor. And if we come to the columns, we can add compare at price and we can actually price the product now. I plan to do a buy one, get one free offer with this where I'm shipping out two pairs of underwear for $29.95. I think that's gonna be extremely low resistance. So we'll pop that in here. And for the compare at price, I'm just gonna say one pair costs $50. Keep it nice and clean, click save. And now if we view the product page, it is looking even worse. I have a magic strategy that is going to totally pimp our theme. It's time to pimp my theme. <laughs> So a little sauce for you guys. We're not going to be using Dawn. We're bringing out the big guns today and we are bringing out the number one Shopify theme, Shrine Pro. I'm bringing out the big guns for this challenge because last time we only did 1K in profit and that's good for, for three days. Don't get me wrong, but I want to do more this time and Shrine Pro going to be the best bet. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to customize Shrine Pro. You're about to get a master class, but first, you need to get a key, damn it. Luckily, I got one, got one somewhere. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is remove half the garbage on the homepage because I like to keep things lean. You see this garbage can? Click. You just keep clicking it until you have contact form and then we will add a featured product. We will drag that above the contact form and we will select our personalized thong, which still has no photos, but we will handle that very, very shortly. From here, we will click view product details. This is how it looks by default. Shrine gives you the option to do a ton of awesome features. However, I 
like to keep things very minimal. So similarly, we are going to just hit the garbage can and remove all of these sections so we're only left with the product itself. Now, I'm getting annoyed that we don't have product photos yet. So before we fully pimp out this theme, let's go over how to get product photos in under five minutes. Put a timer on the screen. Step one, we're gonna go to Minya. Sign in, click magic search, come to this camera, and we're going to upload a photo of product. And this area here is gonna blow your mind. Here is every competitor who has ever sold this thing. And as I mentioned, this product has been sold a lot, but somehow it is always profitable. I have tested this hypothesis myself. Maybe you wanna test it as well, let me know. But we're just gonna open up a few of these competitors in different tabs and ideally find some that have some different product images here. I'm gonna get the video demonetized, but we'll open up these photos as well. And now you can see we have a few different competitors up and we can essentially go through each competitor one by one. We can look at all of their photos and Minya has this handy download assets feature where it will save all those photos for you. Download photos, download, and would you look at that? Here are the first, well, you can't see them, but here are the first five photos. And we go to the next competitor. These people seem to have the same exact photos. So we'll, we'll just go to the next one for now. Now we're starting to get some new photos. And if we're not looking to download them all, we can also just download that single image as well. Same with this. And then this person has some proper images of people wearing it, which is unique. These photos right here are very high quality, actually. Actually. So that's why it's important. You're going through a few different stores. That way you can get a few different variations of the product. So we'll also snag a few of these as well. It's always good to have photos. The more photos you have, the more gifts you can find, the better. Now the next operation you need to do real quick is go to all these people's websites real quick and see if they have any gifts in their description that are good. Because if they do, we can also save these to our computer, GIF one. Here we have another GIF, you know, we'll just call this GIF two. We'll keep it simple. And this is the competitor store. I think we can make something better than this. But let's also go to this next website on Minion now and we can pull their website up. They're not selling this anymore, so we can't take any gifts from them. Let's go to the next person, see full description. Store's not up anymore. See full description, page isn't found. And it's okay if people stop selling a product, but this is how I go about finding gifts for my product, finding content, images. So these people have some really good images. This is a nice photo here. So again, right now you're just stockpiling your asset and you can see how long has the timer been? And this is another gift. So we got gift. Look at the timer on the screen. We have found 16 pieces of media for our description with three of them being gifts. So at this point, we can go make a product page in literally like 20 minutes. And we'll keep these Minya links open as well because you'll notice that they do have videos at the bottom and these will come in handy for when it comes time to launch our ads. We'll leave these tabs up and now let's return back to our our product page. And since we just have five colors, I'll probably just upload one image for each product. Keep it extremely simple. We'll just take these images, drag them onto our Shopify. And now we can arrange them black, red. We'll go purple, blue, white. And that's the same as our colors right here. And then we'll also want to match the color to that individual product photo. So we got black there. We got red here. We got purple. We got blue. We got white. And now we can click on save and if we return back to our theme editor, we should have these photos here now. And now we can really start to pimp our store. So the first thing I wanna do is tweak our announcement bar a bit. So for this first announcement bar, welcome to our store, we're just gonna say free shipping. Instead of storefront, I think I can just do truck. Please be the right icon. That is not right. Okay, view all icons. I would like a truck, please. Local shipping. Okay, we'll copy that. Place. And now we got the truck here. So this is a start, but we're gonna go a little saucy. We're gonna add a second announcement bar here. And this one is gonna say free returns. And I would just like a smiley face. Is there like a happy face on here? Look up smile. Yes, yeah, sentiment satisfied. That is what we're looking for. We'll throw that in. Now this looks a little weird. I do agree. In fact, it's not as optimized as I would like. So what's cool about Trine is if you click announcements, you can split this into two columns actually. So now we have free shipping, free returns, and it looks pretty optimized on mobile, which is where 
where most of our traffic will be coming from. So mobile view is really what you wanna focus on. So we'll save this here. Now remember, I also wanna do the buy one, get one free for this product. So we're gonna add another block, actually another section here. This is fucking saucy. We'll drag this to the very top. We're going to invert this color here, turn it black. And for the text here, we're gonna say, add two items to your cart and second is free. And I think then we can remove this icon and it should fit on one line. So next, I guess we need to do a logo. And I had already thought of a name. We're gonna go with, oh bro, I just thought I was paused. I was about to have a heart attack. So let's go get a logo, go to defont.com. We wanna come to Sans Serif maybe? I don't know, but I like the name Celesta. I think it's a little flirtatious. I think it goes well with this niche. So I just wanna find a cool font. This one right here looks pretty good. We'll keep scrolling. This one's decent. Like it's not hard to make a logo. Just download this and upload it to the store. And here we have it, our legendary Celesta logo. Our store is starting to look pretty branded and we're not even done yet. That's the best part. So next I wanna tweak the colors. I'm not a fan of the purple. Instead. I want to do some crimson red type color. That's a little too red. I'll do one of my favorite colors. Boom. I think this looks good. And we'll update all the other colors on our store to match this one. And now the store is coming together even more. The next thing you can see if we just follow our mouse down is we have our reviews. This says XXXX reviews. You know, we got to fill that in. How do we do that? If we follow my mouse down, here's title. This is the title. If I hit the eyeball, personalized thong disc appears and we are looking for the rating stars. You can put this amount however many the AliExpress listing usually shows. So this product, if I recall, had over 10,000 reviews on the product. So I will actually say 10,000 plus verified customers. That's a little easier to go about it. For the price here, we can leave $29. Now there is one more thing we can tweak with Shrine theme, which is why this theme is a God tier theme. So you guys see this color here, black, red, purple, sky blue white well instead of having them be pills we can change these to swatches and now they are color swatches minute by minute our theme is getting more and more optimized now i don't want the quantity selector here because every time i've sold this people buy multiple pairs and they're putting different names on them so i don't know if they got nicknames if they got multiple partners ideally though you want them to add this product to their cart twice in just a moment we will be installing an app that lets the customer type their name to get put onto the product. But first I wanna take care of the footer here. So we can uncheck image. We're gonna take subscribe to our emails, put that up top. And we're gonna change this to say subscribe and save 10%. And then this will say, enter your email to activate discount code cart10 at checkout. We're gonna bold that so it stands out, save. And I don't like the red footer actually. So we're gonna change the color of this to the inverse. And this is looking proper now. And if we come to our discounts, I already have cart 10 made. If they used cart 10, they get 10% off, but we do need to add it for this product. So personalized thong, save, success. Next, we're returning back to the Shopify app store so we can get an app that lets the customer put their own name in. And I use this app, Image Lift, Image Upload. It's the most straightforward app ever and it's free to install. So it's basically a no brainer not to use. We can get this set up on the store. We'll go with the free plan. You already know it. So let's create a new upload field. Initially, it's going to say drag and drop. So we want to say upload is hidden and we are going to add a text field. This will say name. I think just name. Do we have a preview? Oh, here it is. This is what the customer will see. So for the placeholder, we'll say type your name here, six to 10 letters, just so they know. And then for this, I'm just going to say enter name. I think that's going to look a little better here. Enter name. So type your name. That looks quite good. And the last thing to do is to select our product personalized thong. And now if we scroll up, if we click save, we can actually we can turn this from draft to active. And if we come back to our product page and refresh it, it should have the name prompt. So this is installed now. So the next thing I want to do is format the description for this. And I think we'll do a, a rather simple description today. So first underneath the add to cart, let's add some icons. Icons always look good. Come here. You want to do icons with text. These three are classic and we can click into here and start to tweak them a bit. Okay. So we're going to do free shipping for the first one. The second one, we're going to do a 30 day returns. And then the 
last one, we are gonna say discreet shipping. I think people are really gonna like that one. Now there's one more thing I'll also want to add here, and that's gonna be another block. It's gonna be two collapsible rows. So this first one is gonna say our guarantee, and we'll just paste that guarantee in here. Now the customer can open this up, and we're also gonna duplicate the guarantee and do a shipping info one. And inside of here, we will update that text as well. So now we have our three little unique value prop icons. We have our shipping info and the guarantee. And I'll usually put the guarantee above. So it just keeps getting better and better. You can see how we're continually building onto this site. Now, the next thing I want to do is an image with text section. I think this is going to be solid here. Now on desktop, image with text looks good. Now we're also going to add a multi-column. I think a multi-column is going to be a great addition to the site and a few more sections that I think are good. Let's do another image with text section here and we'll use chat GPT to fill this all in. But I think next then we'll need to add some reviews. So we'll need to go install a review app, Trustify. This is the app I've been using lately. Product reviews, monthly plan, always, always monthly plan. That's tip of the day. And now that we have the app installed, let's return back to our theme editor, give the page a refresh. And at the bottom, we should be able to add a section now for apps and we should be able to do the Trustify review box. And this is it for the landing page. So we'll do reviews in a minute. We'll get these two images sorted, but let's use Google Gemini to fill in all this text because this is incredible. It requires zero IQ. Google Gemini. So open up a new chat and we're going to paste our pre-built 4.0 chat GPT description here. It's the same one from the discord. I just copied this, pasted it in here and we need to clean it up a bit. So we're selling personalized thongs. Okay, and once Google Gemini finally stops being insane and gives you a proper description, you can just copy it all, paste it on your page, and voila. At this point, the last thing we have to do is just add these two images to our description. And thankfully, we have a stockpile of images, so picking two photos will be easy. So guys, the Shopify store is officially done. We are going to do a quick store review, then we are moving on to the ad creatives, then we're going to launch our TikTok ads and then tomorrow is going to be day two of the challenge technically because this is all still day one right here building up the store getting ready so let's do the store review we're going to look at it from mobile view because that's where most of our customers come from so let's scroll down our website here the customer can pick the color they want then they can put you know their name here anthony eclipse they can check shipping the guarantee and the description is very easy to read these people have brain rot they've just been scrolling for hours, they don't want a wall of text. And we do have reviews here, but it doesn't show when under the theme editor, but this is it for the website. I kept it incredibly simple. So next, let's move on to the ads. And this strategy is very similar to the product photo method. You're going to go through all your Minya competitors and you're simply going to click the video and you are going to download this to your computer. And you wanna do this with every unique video. And I apologize for thirst trapping you guys. That was not the agenda of today. But right there, we just downloaded two videos. Going on to the next competitor, we have a few more videos here. And we're just going to download these all for now. We'll narrow it down after. For the actual ad strategy, we just need three videos, which we have found already. So with this, we are just building up an archive. It's almost like a vault of ads that we will be able to use for our TikToks. And just like that, we have found 11 unique videos that we can go use for our TikTok ads. So now we're going to go set up our TikTok ads campaign. Now I won't be showing the full setup in today's video because we already have the full tutorial on the channel here and that is a full detailed step-by-step -step breakdown and I don't want this video to be longer than it has to be. So if you're interested in that campaign setup, make sure you check out this video over on YouTube. Once the campaign is all scheduled, you will have three ad creatives that are going to go live at midnight. So that is it for day one. We are a officially set up to start running our ads and I will check back in at the end of tomorrow with hopefully some good news.
So it is day two. It is a Friday night, 10 p.m. Just got back from dinner, and here we are recording a drop shipping challenge. Now, today we ended up getting three orders for $85 or $89.85. So let's head on over to the ads. Here we have our three videos, and I'm gonna make this extremely simple. So of the three videos, two of them got us purchases. Now, this middle one got us no purchases. So because it got no sales sales, meaning not profitable, we are going to turn this off and not spend any money on it tomorrow. Then this first and third video both got us at least one sale. Video one spent $11 and got us a purchase. And this third video spent $24 in total and every $12 it was spending, it was getting us two purchases back on our website. And remember, for the custom thong, our break even point is right around $20. So both video one and video three are profitable. So for tomorrow, I have a simple plan that is relatively low risk. So number one, we are going to leave this campaign right here running exactly as it is because video one and three are both profitable and we turned off video two, which wasn't profitable. So tomorrow, this should continue to get us profits. And the second thing I'm going to do is I am going to create a second CBO at $50. And the only difference is I'm only having video three in there because remember, that one got us two sales. So for tomorrow, we will have this campaign running plus the new one. And both of those should be a powerhouse. We'll be spending $100 in total. So with that being said, I will check back in with you tomorrow night with a day three recap. And real quick profit loss for today, we made $4, basically breaking even. Nothing too excited. See you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, it is currently day three. And right now, we are up to 11 orders for $329 on our store from selling the custom thong. And checking out our ads manager, the main important thing to note is that both of these campaigns were profitable and that every $10 we were spending, we were getting one purchase back onto our website. And remember, our break-even point is $20. So in other words, these are extremely profitable. Real quick, checking out the profit loss for today, we spent $100 and essentially made hundred dollars right back which is the perfect situation to be in now for tomorrow i have a plan that's gonna let us start to scale up to some bigger numbers because right now we have verified a winning product a winning creative and a winning campaign so the first thing we're gonna do is for tomorrow we are going to introduce a third campaign also at fifty dollars and then we're also going to start surf scaling these campaigns if you're unfamiliar with that term essentially throughout the day we will be increasing our budget from 50 to 100 to 200 and scale up to as high as we possibly can. So tomorrow will be more hands on. There will be more check ins throughout the day and you will get to see a proper behind the scenes of us attempting to scale to one, two or even a 3K day. What up, Mafia gang? It is day four and currently we are up to 14 orders for $419 in revenue. Checking out the ads, doing something a bit different today. Day. So remember, we have our three campaigns here that each started with a $50 daily budget. However, we are surf scaling today. So essentially, every time one of these gets three profitable purchases, we are doubling the budget. So in the event of this third ad group that has six purchases, but when it first got three sales, we went from a $50 budget to 100. And then when it got three more, we went from 100 to 250. And I did the same thing with this top ad group here. Every three sales, essentially doubling budget. And to give you a real time example, this third ad group here has three sales. Every $10 it's spending, it is profitable. So why limit it to only $50? That is the beauty of surf scaling. So we can just increase this to $100 and now it's going to spend a bit more and maintain this same performance, give or take a small fluctuation. So remember, it's 1 p.m. now, we've already made $400. I'm gonna let these spend a little more than I'll I'll check back in maybe around 4 or 5 p.m. with hopefully some good news. Okay, so it's currently pushing 5 p.m. and right now we're up to 45 orders for $1,300 in store revenue. And checking out the ads manager, when you're spending this much money on ads, you need to constantly be checking your ad metrics to make sure that you're not overspending. And thankfully, all of our ads are profitable. How do I know that? Well, remember, our break-even point is $20 and our 
average cost per purchase is $10, meaning that we are extremely profitable and we're doing the same thing. Every time one of these gets three purchases, we are doubling the budget. And I believe this middle one just got a 12th purchase. So again, we're gonna go from 500 to $1,000. And TikTok won't have time to spend this full budget. However, since we are profitable, we are just letting TikTok know like, hey, if you're gonna keep getting us profitable sales, here, we have more cash for you to spend. So it just turned 8 p.m. And right now we are up to 97 orders for 2.9K in overall revenue. Checking out the ads manager, we have ramped up all of our budgets to $2,000. And remember, it doesn't get a chance to spend that full budget, but because these three campaigns were so profitable, we were able to spend a total of $955 on TikTok ads for today alone. Checking out the net profit for today, we brought in 2.9K revenue, but after ads, fulfilling orders, transaction fees, we walked away with $785 in net profit, which isn't too bad considering we are only on day four of this video. The plan for tomorrow is simple. We are adding two new campaigns to go from three in total to five in total. That is it for today. I'm happy with the results and I'll check back in tomorrow. So it's 9 a.m. on day five and currently we are up to seven orders for $209.65. Checking out the ads, the main difference is that today we have five campaigns as opposed to the three that we had running yesterday. And I disabled yesterday's campaigns just because they had these really big budgets and I wanted to refresh things. And today things are, are looking pretty good. Checking out the net profit for today of our $209, we have made $61 in net profit. But what is important is how much money have we made over the last five days? So we first started this challenge on the 9th. And remember, today is currently day five, 13th. And if we view this time range, we have made $3,833 over the last five days after shipping out orders, running ads, transaction fees, etc. We were left with $1,077.56 in pure net profit that is coming into our bank account. So making 1K over a few days is pretty typical with e-commerce. And if you apply what you learned today, there's a pretty good chance you can get some similar results for yourself. Of course, there are a lot of nuances like which product you should pick, how you should run your ads, what do you set budgets to, and a ton of other stuff along the way. So remember, if you're not already getting results like you saw today, then you're clearly doing something wrong and you need some help. And that is okay because a dozen other students have come to me seeking some guidance and we have scaled to 1K plus days, 10K days, 100K weeks, and we have quite a few students who have also achieved 100K months. So if you're not happy with your current e-commerce success and you're looking to take things to the next level, then click the first link in the description and pin comment below and join my mentorship program. Inside, you will be working one-on-one -on -one with me with the main goal of taking you to five to 15K monthly profit over the next 30 to 90 days. So if you're looking to get some results like you've seen today and you're tired of doing the guesswork, you're tired of burning money on ads and you want a system that is proven to work not only for me, but also for the other students that have come through the program, then join the program. The link is in the description and pin comment below and I will see you on the inside. On the screen now are two videos you may enjoy. Check them out and peace.